What's up, brother? What's good? What's good? Fucking storming in this bitch. It's about the about the thunderstorm. Oh my bad. I apologize. I shouldn't have did that. What's up? It's about the storm in this bitch. But fuck it. I am the storm. God damn it. But tell that rain to hold off. Or fucking let it pour. I don't care. Whatever. Come down. I haven't been able to come outside today. Chill out. What is good? It's a beautiful fucking day, man. It's a beautiful day. What's good? What's up? I'm actually, I'm waiting on Ish. Waiting on my brother. It's been a minute since I was able to sit outside and enjoy a storm. Hopefully the, uh, hopefully, what's up April? Hopefully the elements will allow me to enjoy this storm. If not, I'll move inside or I'll cut this short. Welcome, welcome, fucking beautiful man let me know in the comments real quick is it too loud because if it is I'll probably just restart and go inside Ish hasn't even gotten here yet so I'm just waiting on him I think I might change angles though
Beautiful. And it rains, it pours. I might have to actually move this inside right quick though. Cause actually I didn't think this shit was gonna be this bad. I thought it was just gonna rain a little bit. Before I let you come in ish though, like wait a second though. Cause this is just nice to this is just nice to look at. Alright, hold on. I might have to actually re I actually might have to uh go back inside. <laughs> no right it's like but i didn't think usually it doesn't uh this doesn't happen here i don't know what the hell is going on usually when it when it rains here it's like it's not like this it just comes down it's not like a whole like this is actually really odd Yo, top of the morning, brother. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. Top of the morning, nigga. Hell yeah. I was just about to say your righteous ass soul, bro. It conjured up this storm. You're exactly you're shit. There. Shit, nigga. You're... I am the storm. Exactly. You were over there flowing. You were you were spitting. You know what I'm saying? And that exactly. shit. Exactly. Just... This know shit is saying? actually the, I'm not even kidding. Like this shit actually lifted my umbrella up for a second. I was like, oh god damn. <laughs> About to be a uh, motherfucking Dorothy going yeah, to Yeah, I was about to uh, say, we about to not be in Kansas no more, baby. God damn. But be in Oklahoma is where you go be. Exactly. I might actually, in my head, I'm still trying to, like, gauge the weather and see where it's going. Because if it gets way too weird, I'm going to take it. I'm going to have to take this shit back inside. Shit but it good. looks like it's looking like it's calming down, though. Because, you know, you, the big ass cloud is moving over. Mm, okay. It's just moving okay. over. Okay. But it looks like we, we, we chilling. We good. I really wanted to... Uh, it's been a minute since I was able to sit out in the rain. I feel you, man. No, I was... I was Bro, I was just chilling with my um, with my cousin. You know what I'm saying? The, the psychic medium. And we were... Bro, we were flowing. You know what I'm saying? And then I was outside. You know what I'm saying? And he had... Because he got, he, 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 got, he got kids. You know what I'm saying? He had to go pick up his babies. And... We were talking outside. He was like, oh, like, cuz, let me get you out this rain. And I you was know like, what? Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. I can't even fucking hear you. That's how loud it's raining. Well, go back in the house, bro. Go yeah, I'm going to go back in the house. Hold on. I didn't think this shit is so fucking loud. Wow. Hold on. Ah! All right, hold on. We got some tea. You know what I'm saying? Special delivery out here, y'all. Nice. Yeah. Can't get the can't get the robe wet. Yo, thank you. <laughs> can't can't yeah, it came out of nowhere, out of nowhere right? right? That's insane. Um, Baby, get get really quick. Hold on, real pause. Help me bring some of this shit inside. Okay. What's up? Oh. That happened that happened to me at the bus stop oh. to me outside today too. Wait one, one minute. Get the chair first. Mm. Ah. Oh yeah, all the all the Yeah, I gotta I gotta get the whole the clan. Hold on. Conjured storms. I know. It takes a village. You know what I'm saying? What's good, my people? Yo, Cosmic Ruler, I appreciate that. These are actually funny enough, right? Like, I'm, uh, you know, I'm chilling with my, at my parents' house right now. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it's my, like, childhood home in a sense. So, like, those swords are my dad's swords. You know what I'm saying? We get the mask. It's actually a whole setup. You know what I'm saying? We got the other swords over here. Some swords over there. You know what I mean? Got the equipment. 
gym equipment right here. Your boy's been getting right. You know what I'm saying? And then look, we got the we got the guns in the closet. You know what I'm saying? So we prepare around here. You know what I'm saying? We got everything. And we got a nature preserve in the back. You know what I'm saying? So we got a forge. We got to do whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm hopping back there. Now I'm just playing. We ain't going to have to forge, but we go learn them skills eventually. And it's funny because while, while Saturn's on, you know, got, it, got the thing on mute, it's crazy how we've been talking about how the, the, the man, right? I've been listening to this song called Formula uh, by Labyrinth. You know, and the formula is spirituality plus pr practicality equals manifestation. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the holy trinity of this world. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got to focus on. If we truly want to uh, be in the world that we seek, right? If we want to find what we seek, you know what I mean? That's going to be the way to accomplish it. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, like, we all channel. We're all psychic. You know what I'm saying? We're all, you know, a divine piece. Master, able, noble. You know what I mean? Generator, operator, destroyer. We all that shit. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? it's like if we're not being practical, if we're not being practical, then the shit is not going to manifest the way that we want to. Right? Everybody's so worried about the will of Rome. You know what I'm saying? Taking out UV detectors. You know what I'm saying? Fucking uh, niggas throwing rice. Like, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's happening right now? It's all about the eternal now. You know what I'm saying? You got to focus on creating the shit that we want, right? And we can't, right? I've been using this analogy, right? It's like for, for years, niggas have been standing around the ground being like, damn, we got to dig a 20-foot, 40-foot hole because we need water and we need to dig a well. It's like, well, grab a shovel, nigga, and start digging. You know what I'm saying? Get a fucking piece of rope and climb out that motherfucker when you hit water. Like, it's that simple. You know what I'm saying? The practicality, right, the etymology of, of practical and practice is just action, right? And it also refers to medicine, right? So, Taking action is medicine. That's how you heal yourself. That's how you manifest. That's why it's not just, right? It's not just the sole pillar of spirituality. You know what I'm saying? You can be a spiritual ass nigga, but still be a dumb nigga. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? And be a Fuck nigga that's not living ass, in abundance. Man. Exactly. Fuck right? Man. Just dumb. The key. Just really dumb. The key is the law of attraction, right? And the law of attraction is absolute. You know what I'm saying? So just be practical. If you want to, you know, that's why they say work smarter, not harder. You know what I'm saying? If you work smart, you're just focusing on the things that you need to focus on in order to accomplish your goal. It's that simple. Like, the shit ain't hard. You know what I mean? The, these would be the same niggas, too, that be saying, I'm a general. I'm a king. I'm an emperor. Um, you know what? I'm all for it. It's not, see... It's, it's, it is the man that makes the title, not the title that makes the man. You know what I mean? And I'm all for big upping yourself. You know what I mean? You got to love yourself. But at, this, at the same time, it's weird. There's the, the, my 3D quote unquote side is like, that's some shit you earn. Mm -hmm. And then my eternal spiritual side is just like we all kings we all this but there's a there's a balance between the two so i'm just like yeah we all i wouldn't say now i'm getting to the point as i'm cultivating my etheric practicality okay um you have the potential to be a king you have the potential to, to be this that and the fourth but just because everybody has that potential, but just because you have that potential does not mean you are executing upon that potential. Thanks. If that makes sense. Thanks. That is not, now, now I'm going more from, at this point, I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna let the Queens call you emperor and all that shit. 
I'm I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the beautiful goddesses, you know, gas you niggas up and shit. You know what I mean? And I'm mm-hmm. cause that I mean that's what they're here for. I don't need to do it. You know what I mean? I I don't need to call every nigga king and god and this that and this shit. I'm gonna let your women. I'm gonna let your woman do that. You know what I mean? That's 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 her role anyway. I, I'm a I'm a tell you the truth, man to man. Mm-hmm. And I'm not obviously I'm speaking to the men, but it's it's our community in general. To be quite frank, even now in a little bit, I'm about to close out my spiritual services. Why? Mm. Because I don't want any. I I don't want to. I don't do it for the money, obviously. You know what I mean. Right. But I don't want any sort of income coming from the spiritual community. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't want. I don't want any. I just. I'm. I'm seeing these cats that are. They're just collecting. They're just stacking off of the community, and I'm all mm-hmm. for get your bag, manifest your bag, but. In the long run, there's no projection. It doesn't go anywhere. It's mm-hmm. a it's a it's a short term move. If that if that makes sense, it's just like well, you want to build a community, you want to do this, you want to do that, but all you're really doing is just siphoning off from it's that crab in a bucket. Man. It's still matrix shit. It is. It is. So I I personally I don't desire any sort of money or income or crystallization coming from the pockets of anybody within the spiritual community. I just, I don't want your dollars. I, I'm not concerned with them. We're going to make whatever WPOG content that we want to make. And we make that for the sake of that's within goodwill. And anybody who wants to take the information can take the information. You know what I mean? But fuck your money. You know what I mean? Go, go buy a damn garden go invest in some self-help books, go, go, go be practical with your dollars. You know what I mean? Stop nice. giving out your fucking money to the, to these, to these, these people on the damn internet telling you they about to give you a fucking quantum angelic karma cleansing. What the nice. fuck is that? You don't even know what that fucking is, but because, but because this person is constantly pushing fucking fear, all this damn fear, all this damn fucking fear, all these people, you don't even realize that these fucking people are just fucking leveraging fear to further manipulate your ass. Mm. They say they're spiritual. Please. They say they're woke. And all they're fucking using is fear. It's all fucking fear. Preach. Wake the fuck up. If some, wake the fuck up. Wake up. If somebody wake is up, using fear to get you to agree with whatever it is that they're saying, then they are all bullshit. All right? Fear is a product of this matrix. We don't do that over here. I don't give a I don't give a fuck what that sun is doing. I don't give a fuck what a lizard is doing. I don't give a fuck what a white devil is doing. Don't you hit me with any fear. That fear does not lead to practicality. Fear does not get shit done. Okay? That is why I'm even at a point to where if I hear somebody talking about some unpractic now it's one thing if you have concern. Let's be real. Having questions and concerns, that is overstandable. I still have questions and concern. I'm mm-hmm. concerned about this because I don't overstand this. You know what I mean? That is practical. Okay? But mm-hmm. just pure on fear and just saying, hey, everybody do this because you should be scared of this and this is going to happen and, and they're going to shut down the grid and they're going to do this and they're going to do that. Who the fuck wants to live like that? You're your own goddamn slave master. Yeah. Guess what? If they, if they sh- if, as they said in fucking the movie 300 with the Spartans and shit, our arrows will block out the sun. That nigga said then we'll fight in the shade. We'll fight in the shade. If they, if, guess what? If the grid if the grid goes down, then guess what I'm about to do? Meditate in the dark, bitch. I already do. It, <laughs> right? What the what the what, what you mean if the I grid say. goes down? What the what? It looks like you saving money on that power bill, nigga. I. Like what the, I say. Like you, you niggas, I, and I can't fuck. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm a fucking guru. I'm know. cool, but I really my my 3D side. I can't stand you niggas. All right, <laughs> my my whole guru side and everything. I'd be like, okay, they are me. We are one. But but just because you me doesn't mean you not on fuckery. 
You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I call myself out on fuckery. So I'm damn sure going to mm-hmm. call you niggas out on fuckery. I don't give a fuck how connected we are. You still on some bullshit, okay? You are on straight bullshit, all right? Fact is, a lot of these niggas' mamas never told them they loved them, all right? They daddies won there, and they still haven't healed from that energy, and they're projecting it through spirituality. You your own damn slave master, all right? Mm-hmm. Talking about niggas was throwing rice in caves and shit. Where the fuck did they get the fucking rice? If, you, right. if you're smart enough to grow some damn rice, you're not going to be in a fucking cave. Let's get that straight. Right. Like, right. what the... No, no, thought, no thinking at all. They don't... No thinking at all. And don't get me wrong. I still love these people. All right? I want to see these people do better. You know what I mean? I don't mm-hmm. want... I, I'm not just... Tra- yeah, am I talking trash? Absolutely. <clears throat> if you want to call me a hater... Out. If you want to call me a hater, call me grandpa <laughs> from the boondocks. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? And the, the, the hating old ass. I don't know if y'all seen the boondocks and grandpa was thugnificent called grandpa a hater and shit. All right. You can, fuck you can, I don't call me a hater. Guess what? I'm going to be, I'm going to be the hater in the fucking jungle eating berries and shit. Chilling. Okay. Absolutely. And in that example you just gave a Thug Nipissant, what happened to Thug Nipissant? That nigga had to go work for UPS because he ended exactly. up going broke. <laughs> he wasn't broke. He broke. They said you was a hater and went broke and had to go work for it. Didn't own shit. Didn't own <laughs> not again. Was going around looking for, for handouts and shit. Mm-hmm. And you know what's crazy? These niggas have never had these, a lot of these niggas, a lot of people within the spiritual community are not calling niggas out the way we do. They aren't, no, because everybody, people don't realize they're still under that fucking fear vibration that they actually care what these fucking people on the internet think about them. In reality, I don't know you. I don't know any of you other than like Ish. That's my boy. And I still hadn't met Ish in in, in, in person yet. But that's my brother. You know what I mean? But like, some fucking Power Ranger robes, nigga. Some dragon shit. I. Nigga, we are dragons. the dragons. We what are the mean, dragons. We, we don't slay the dragons. We ride the dragons because we are we the We ride dragons. the dragons. We tame dragons. That's it. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas scared of That's dragons. It. You scared of lizards. Them lizards, my babies. What you mean? I? Yeah. See, and, and, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you calm down. No, no, bro. No. Listen, bro. You got you to gotta let that righteous energy flow out, right? Because you've been holding this shit in for a long time. Let's be real. Let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? You've been letting a lot of shit in the spiritual community go. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the biggest problem. It's like why are we still, you know, there's all I'm gonna say, right, is there's two very big spiritual people whom I know you all know who both have sixty K plus followers, right? Who have siphoned so much energy out of niggas and literally have done nothing but spread fear, tell you that you have to go stock up on food. First of all, that's like some, that literally sounds like some Roman shit. Like, yeah, go, that's what they were saying in the beginning, bro. Like, oh, we're running out of toilet paper, right? But if you go to a store that's not right around your house, niggas got hella toilet paper in the back just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Niggas said there's a water shortage. Nigga, it's raining. What you mean? How is there a water shortage? It'd be raining. There's a river. Nigga, there's a river 10 miles away from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I got a Jeep. I'll drive my ass down there. I ain't worried about gas prices, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, there's people, right? Like, and here's the thing, right? It was like that December 21st shit, right? As soon as that shit happened and niggas weren't flying around and shooting laser beams out their eyes, niggas were like, oh, we didn't say that you would get superpowers. We said that you would be eligible to get superpowers if you Bitch, yes, did you the did. true work. You know exactly you, what like, you said. No, you did you said you know exactly what you said. I I can go back in your videos, all your shit's recorded. You know what I'm saying? And right, that's not the point, but the point is to say that these motherfuckers would justify anything. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with Babylon. It's the same process, right? If you're just caught up in a higher form of the matrix, right, then you're still manifesting fuckery for yourself. You know what I'm saying? The point of being practical it, the point of being spiritual, right, is to be aligned with your soul. It's to get, it's to do away with your ego. It's to connect with your ancestors. It's to connect with your higher self. 
right? And the point of being practical is to provide the rails for the train that is your soul. You know what I'm saying? So that you can fucking run that shit smoothly and manifest what it is you want. Nigga, you know the whole saying? point of all of this shit is to be able to do whatever the fuck you want to do. It's that That's simple. It. People, That's I don't it. know. I don't know how else to, to say it. The only reason why we exist, okay, is to be able to do whatever the fuck we feel like doing. So if you, the reason why you exist, if the reason why you exist is to figure out why you exist, then that's why, that's why you exist, to figure out why you exist. But if the reason I exist is because I just want to sit in a jungle and meditate, then that's why I exist. It's that simple. It is that simple, okay? These niggas talking about, where are these niggas even getting this information from? Talking about, that's where orgies come from. They would fucking go to the other cave and take your wife, and they they would rape your your wife in in, in our cave, and and that's where orgies come from. I'm like, how? how? And these niggas, and what and what burns me is you niggas be believing these niggas too, right? That's right. Calling for y'all niggas be believing these niggas. Y'all, some of these motherfuckers is retarded. I'm not gonna just retarded. I know people don't like that word because you're so scared of words now. All right, words because because you're so scared of the fucking semantics of the words when words are just energy. The words are just mediums to convey the energy. So me saying stupid and me saying retarded within this context literally means the same thing. But because you're so butt hurt by this fucking snowflake ass community that you would that you just go, oh, well, that's insulting to people with Down syndrome, bitch. I'm not talking about people with Down syndrome. Right. I'm not talking about anything. I said your ass is retarded. Right. Your ass is, I didn't say your ass is legally retarded. I didn't say your ass is statistically retarded. I didn't say you had a learning disability. I mean, you might, you actually, you might actually have a learning disability. That's why your ass ain't learning shit. Right? <laughs> that you might actually, now that I think about it, maybe I do need to correct myself politically because maybe you really is just legally retarded, some of you, and I just need to dial it back. All right. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe I'm at fault because I'm assuming that niggas is supposed to have a certain level of intellect. All right? Maybe I'm at fault Damn. for respecting you more than you respect yourself. Maybe right. I'm at fault because I have a standard called common sense. And if you're not meeting that standard, I'm about to look at you like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I say. Niggas like, where, where did you get this from? Guess what? Dumbasses. Fucking everything in existence has existed for all of existence. So there's no way some fucking cavemen invented orgies if orgies have already existed. It comes from the fucking Akasha. Do you see what I'm talking about? Like, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. no pre Like, how so you're saying before cavemen started having orgies, there was no such thing as or orgies. In the infinity of the infinity of all these fucking realms, and right. as Bobby Hemmett said, everybody loves a hope. All right, <laughs> yeah. Bobby Hemmett. Bobby Hemmett said everybody yeah. loves a hoe. So if everybody's Amen. loved a hoe since the dawn, there was hoes. That means orgies have always existed. All right, I, 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 I I'm baffled. I'm fucking baffled. I, 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 I don't, I don't listen. You, everybody I mean, can unfollow me for the amount of fucks that I don't give. I could have. What's going on? What's going on, Lynx? Peace and reflections to you as well. <laughs> I could fucking have zero followers tomorrow. Ask me if I care. Ask the fact that we say followers is a curse and a spell within itself. Mm -hmm. Followers. Think about that. Followers. Mm -hmm. What? Just being led. That's just some sheep shit. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking, just fucking sheep shit. And you know what? What'll happen is. These but it niggas, says the Lord is my shepherd. All it, all it takes is for a nigga. See, people still falling for shit. All it does is take a nigga with some masculine energy to be assertive in what he says, and then people believe the shit. Like, if a person convinces themselves that they believe that shit and spread that ignorance, and then you don't know how to use discernment, you're going to believe that shit. But you, right. what happens is people actually don't, like, people don't be playing back what people say to them. Like, Niggas will just hear somebody and then that's it and be like, yeah, sure. Like, what I do when I listen to people is if a nigga says some shit, I replay what he says in my head. 
Like, I don't listen to it in his voice. I listen to it in my voice saying it to myself. And then I'd be like, okay, how does that feel? Mm-hmm. Nah, Chief, that's not checking out. Nah, Chief. Nah. I don't, I do that with Ish. I do that with everybody. If somebody mm-hmm. says some shit to me, I got to give it a second. I got to be like, hold on, let me, ma. Absolutely. Ma, call me. And, and how did cavemen invent orgies if there's niggas in Africa with 50 wives? The fucking Moors. These niggas love some damn Moors. More, more, more. More, more, more. More, more. That's, that's why we want some more. Fucking Moors. More, more, more. Moose, Lemuria. More, more, more. The fucking Moors. The Moors of the more. If I see the word more one more goddamn time, I'm just tired of seeing some shit. I'm not saying there weren't Moors. I'm like, y'all just don't get tired of this shit. It's just more programming at this point. Everywhere more look, programming. More everywhere, more programming. More programming. Everywhere I look, people, there's a goddamn spell in this bitch. Every <laughs> get everywhere I fucking look, somebody's trying to cast a spell on me. From the more <laughs> to the Moors to the school system to the fear to the crystals to the if you want to protect yourself, if you want to sleep at peace at night, then you need this pyramid to Egypt. It's just spell after spell after spell after spell. You driving a nigga crazy. You drive, like, literally, like, niggas be like, I'm this close to going in the woods. Bitch, I'm already in the woods. My body is just still right here. My spirit, <laughs> that's why I'm on, my spirit and my soul has already left. They in the woods. They just waiting for this to catch up with the rest of that, with just to catch up. Y'all niggas are insane. Why you think motherfuckers be moving out to Alaska just like, yo, fuck this shit, bro. It's just, I'm you, done. I'm you, out. You just, I'm this, this is literally an, an insane asylum. And you know what makes it worse? Some of these people don't know they're insane. They don't, they don't know they're insane. They just, they, they don't even, they don't even think. Do you, I can't fathom not think, like, I'm not a nigga that assumes I know everything. I just don't assume I'm right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Maybe if I was a little dumber and just assume I was always right, I'd probably think I'd probably be manifesting shit faster. You know what I mean? Because I wouldn't be doubting myself. I, I'd be less quick to doubt mm-hmm. myself. But I, I, again, I'm glad I, I, I at least asked the damn questions. Like people, people. And what blows me is that these motherfuckers will show you who the fuck they are. And then y'all niggas so badly want to be goddamn entertained on the damn internet that you still watch and feed these niggas your fucking energy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, really, what the fuck they is wrong They even tell you they're there for edutainment, right? Yeah, you, like you, tell you. You, so, you so badly, you're so badly, you so badly want to escape from the fucking matrix that you will allow a nigga to lie directly to you just so you can fucking be entertained. Just so, you know what? Because people are so... They're so fearful of the idea of being, of not knowing what's going to happen. Like people are so uncomfortable with not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow that they just make some shit up so that they can find security. They'll find security Mm -hmm. in a lie about what's going to happen a year from now, just so that they aren't afraid of what happens a year from now. But the only reason why you created the lie in the first place is because your ass is afraid. So you still afraid. So mm-hmm. all you did was just create a fucking problem. And then you just man and the next thing you you manifested some shit. You're like, oh I was right. It's no no bitch law of attraction. You was thinking right. about the shit so much and your soul is almighty, regardless if you want some shit or don't want some shit, that you attracted the fuck out of it. Do you not see that most of the time and then people be like, police, police, police are fucking oppressing niggas. I guarantee nigga. I've never been harassed by a police officer. Now I'm not saying I'm sure there are people that are, but guess what? I'll go walk, I'll walk down, I'll walk down the street littered with police, looking like the most dreadheaded of niggas in a robe, flip-flops with the number one daddy mug, sipping my coffee. And I will walk right past them officers and ask for directions. Right. They not gonna fucking touch me. You know why? Because I ain't thinking about them. Facts. They're not even there. I don't even see them. They're not there. And guess what? When you're not doing dumb shit, see, that's a part of the fucking curse. That's the that's a part bro, of the fucking curse. You. You're so fucking afraid of police, policia, 
policies, okay, the police uphold policy because they are employed by the United States Corporation because there is a difference between the fucking United States and America, okay? But if you state that you do not work for the corporation and that you do not consent to doing business with the corporation, the policy upholders cannot fucking touch you. Cracks. You'd be like, fuck 12, but, th but then be the first one to fucking point an unlicensed gun or whatever on the internet and then talk about, oh, I be trapping, I be doing this. Like, you don't realize that you're doing all the, like the way the game, this Monopoly game is set up is that there are a bunch of energetic traps set up. And if you engage within those energetic traps, you can sit to allowing yourself to be harassed by the policy upholders because it's a fucking game. It's a game. Right. And just because, and guess what? Game does not necessarily mean there are no consequences. That's not, that's not, all right. games have consequences. If there is no all consequence, games then it's not a game. If there's no consequence, it's not a game, then it's not fun. Why do you think we all sign up for this shit? Because we, we're such infinite and limitless beings that the only way we can be fucking entertained is if we set up consequences for ourselves. But if you don't want to be in a situation where you have to face consequences, you don't have to consent to it. You can just go chill. Go sit the fuck down. Sit your ass the fuck down. Chill the fuck out. Sit, sit your ass the fuck down. Then Listen. I, I guarantee you that my bad ish. I'm on roll. Man. You good? Nah, keep going, bro. Keep going. You channeling it at this why, point. Why the, why the, these, and then these be the first niggas to be talking about, oh, I got baby mama issues. I got this. I got that. I got this. I got that. Then these niggas are, t you a righteous ass nigga, but you talking shit about your baby mama on the internet? I had to slap the taste out your mouth. Take care that of your is, kids, nigga. That is the epit that is manic as fuck. And I've been seeing it consistently amongst these niggas within the spiritual community. All right? My, listen, if I ever have some baby mamas, okay, because I don't have baby mamas, all right? Them's my women, all right? Them's the mother of my children, okay? Them's this team Saturn, all right? Fact. If you hear shit about me from my baby mamas before you hear me saying anything about my baby mamas on the internet, that's none of your goddamn business. Absolutely. Like, like that makes my household look weak. If right. I'm talking trash about my baby mom, why would I talk trash about the mother of my children on the internet and then my children could one day see that? Why, why would you show that? Why would you do that? Why, why, one day you're talking about how this is your goddess and you, and you love her, all right? But the second she fucking exposed your ass, got you looking like a fucking clown, now, now you turn into a whole ass bitch. Now you acting like a whole ass female. And the, excuse me, let me not say that, all right? Because the stereotype, nah, that, yeah. the stereotype is that this is how females act. Like that's a part of, see, that's another part of the curse. Yeah, part females of the program. Do this, males do this. But obviously, it's not some shit that females do because I see a bunch of bitch ass niggas doing it. So maybe it's just bitch ass behavior in general. It doesn't discriminate amongst gender. It's just ain't shit niggas. That's ain't what it shit is. niggas. Ain't shit fucking niggas. Right. right. Because when you te when you te tear down the mother of your child, you tear down your child. You know what I'm saying? Because then your mother's just gonna the mother's gonna retaliate against you, right? And if you te tear down the father of your child, you are tearing down your child and you guess know, what I, now I you're engaging in a not. toxic ass relationship between exactly right. mother father and child that shit fucking up the trinity anybody fucking, up, fucking the up, trinity. up the trinity do you also not realize that trinity. a child is more likely to side with a mother a mother anyway how more often than not how the mother views how a mother views the father is more likely how the child will view the father because of how impressionable women are on their children. Like you literally came out, you went straight from pussy to titty. You came, excuse me, you came out the vagina and you went straight to the breast, okay? That in itself shows that she's gonna have a bit more leeway in that dynamic. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like mm -hmm. as far as when it comes to, um, like women are very, they can, they can, they're very influential. So, original influence. Your your child is gonna judge you based off of the relationship you have with your woman. All right. Guess what? My father fucked up the relationship with my mother, 
So that forever amongst the four children that he has, that is going to, he already has, there's already a certain perception we have of him within our mind, just off of that. And that will never change. Not saying we don't love him, not saying we don't respect him, but there will always be something in the back of our minds. Like, nigga, you can even with my mama like that. That's real shit. And as a man, he has to own that shit. And he does. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If if you even to the sense of like, if, if even you could like literally see at least as a mama, if you see your parents argue and you see your father going in on your mother, regardless of if your mother is wrong or right, you're going to defend your mother. Like that's that's my mentality. Don't touch my mama. Don't talk. Right. To, you don't don't do that to mom. Don't do that. Because at that point, you have to be your own father, right? In a exactly. sense. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Don't. So I'm like, I, I, I don't. What's up, Ed? I don't seem to. Uh, no, I'm not doing it no more. And I, I've got. I'm on such a. I don't give a fuck mentality anymore. Like I don't need to be friends with these niggas. I don't need everybody. I'm not looking for everybody within the spiritual community to to click follow and my Instagram page. Fuck your spiritual community. All right. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck all of you. Like. For, like. Like. Really. You don't. I. I. I I'm not gonna say yeah. that. No, not you. See, here's a, see, here's a, what's what's cool, really quick. What's cool about like what we have, WPOG shit. You know what I'm saying? Is that we've cu cultivated a group of real ass people, real people. You know what I'm saying? We got, you know what I'm saying? People who are doulas. You know what I'm saying? Who are actually out here taking care shout of. Shout out to the grand taking, doula. You know what I'm saying? Shout, grand shout, doula in the building. Shout out to the grand doula. New Earth birth. You know what I'm saying? Like. We have people, you know what I'm saying, who are, you know, focused on, you know, getting their nephews onto, um, onto like spiritual lessons, right? So that they can l teach their nephew how to utilize their third eye to kill the fucking. Shout out to Deep Water Marauder. Shout out to Ed Boy. You know what I'm Ed saying? Boy in the building. Ed Boy in the building. Like, 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 let's let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? That's what's so cool about this little pocket of. I mean, at this point, it's a natural community. Like, fuck. <laughs> spiritual right like we're just in accordance with natural law you know what i'm saying we're on some real practical shit like people are trying to utilize their gifts and leverage their gifts to manifest that which they seek they're not worried about scarcity they're not worried about guess what if the power grid goes down then guess what you don't go out at night motherfucker it's that simple the sun is still going to come up. Some of y'all don't even be like, going out during the day. I don't even know right. why it matters at this point. For real. I, you know what I'm I, saying? I, 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 I don't, I, I, if you're so worried about the power and you're such a fucking God, look up on YouTube how a circuit works and learn how to build a damn electromagnetic generator. It's not yeah. that fucking hard. Yeah. Since you're such a fucking God and you're so worried about the destruction of the earth, Go on fucking YouTube and look how to build. You go on YouTube and look up the UV index and see what the fucking what what's that shit called? Schumann the, resonant. The Schumann, yeah, the Schumann resonant. You'll look at all that other shit, but you won't look up how to build a fucking generator, how to or how a solar to, panel, how to build because a solar panel. It's so easy the, to build a solar panel. You're looking at the sun panel. every day, but you won't build a solar panel. It's so Come easy on, to build a fucking solar panel. I've watched two videos. And I'm confident if you give me like two months and I dedicate my time to it, I will learn how to build a fucking generator. You know why? Because I'm a genius, and so are you. Right. You'll learn how to. Right. You'll learn how to you do channel that shit. You'll learn how to do every other fucking thing, but learn how to do the shit that's fucking practical. Okay. Exactly. Like, Ish put me even to say with the WPOG shit. Ish literally put me on to somebody that has WPOG in their profile, and I didn't even know this nigga followed me. And I followed him today, and Ish, he reached out to Ish. And Ish talked to me, I was just like, oh shit, I didn't, I didn't know. I love seeing that shit. Shout out to, what's his, what's his tag again? Dragon, I, I don't know if it's Dragon Onela or Dragon One I think it's Dragon but... Dot Onela. Yeah, so, Dragon Dot Onela. He knows yeah. who we're talking, if he watches this, he knows yeah, I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, he knows. Shout he out knows. to fucking, uh, what's her name? What's Celia Herrera? Herrera, not Herrera. It's, it's, it's Espanol. Herrera. 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 Whatever. You know what I mean. All right. She got that shit in her bio as well. You know what I mean? And I didn't L -B 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 ask them to do that. I didn't even notice that shit until I saw that shit. That's right, Rob. Rob's been watching 
fucking log cabin building biz lately. If you want to go live in a log cabin, go go live in the fucking log cabin. Fuck Bro, here, here's the other thing. I'm sorry, real quick. You go don't ahead. Don't be sorry. To, you don't have to live in the city, yo. There's, like, literally, right, this nigga, you know what I'm saying, who has 60,000 followers, you know what I'm saying? He sat there. We're talking about Kalai. Made, we're not doing it. We're, we're talking, talking about, about Kalai. Kalai. We're talking about we're talking, Kalai. And the only reason is we're not gonna... about, it's not necessarily about Kalai, okay? Kalai is an archetype, okay? He represents Sucks. Sucks. The, 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 what the people that we're talking about. I, a million niggas fuck, like I'm not, a, we are not afraid of that nigga. If you want us to have a conversation with that nigga in front of all you, we will do it. Let's do it. All right? If you, want, if you think, if you think, oh, Saturn talks all this trash, but ain't, ain't nobody around to check him. Oh, I bet you a collage saw this shit and called Saturn wonder. I'd say, I'd say it right to his face. What you mean? Right now. What you invite mean? Invite this nigga to the group. You know what I'm saying? Invite and, this nigga invite, to the Put me in a group chat with him. I'll have a conversation with him. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I'll be disrespectful. To be quite frank, I don't think I'm being that, that disrespectful right now. No. Just because you feel no. disrespected doesn't mean I'm being disrespectful. Right. I'm being real. And, and right. here's the point that I was going to make about him, right? I mean, this was months ago because I haven't been following this nigga for months now, right? It's like, you know, he was literally talking about a how a woman was wrong because she's in a spiritual community, spiritual breakaway community, mind you, that's farming, doing all their own shit, right? And he Which said, you're supposed oh, to be that's, doing. That's, that's your reality. That's your reality. Our brothers and sisters in the cities are... Bro, the city is a choice. You're choosing to live in the city. You don't have to save anybody. Kalai, what are you doing for niggas in the city when you're literally walking up to cops and calling them monkeys, bro? That doesn't help the problem. Of, you got kids fucking watching you. You got kids watching you, bro. They're going to go do that shit. Don't, that's not fucking cool. If you can see this right now, that shit is not cool. It What's doesn't up, make any What's sense. Up, brother? You know what I mean? And, and, to put down a goddess, you know what I'm saying, who's already in a breakaway community, who's already in the spiritual community, growing fruits and vegetables and cultivating shit, you know what I'm saying, does not make any sense, bro. Because you're choosing to live in, t you're choosing to live in the city, and all those other people are choosing to live in the city. She's right? being the more of a god than you because she's exercising her free will. Right. Niggas be like, oh, we can't do this. What you mean that's not a part of your reality? It's, I'm like, no, you don't seem to realize that as eternal beings, if you're so all-powerful, why are you telling me that I can't live the reality that I want to live? If I'm so powerful. So I'm all-powerful, but... See, no, that's not, a, that's not how that sentence works. You don't go, you're all-powerful, but... No, no, no. See, what As happens... they say, anything after the word too, but doesn't count. Yeah, these niggas use the these concepts that are attractive to us because they are true, but they use it to fit their fucking narratives. And then you tell me, but the, the DNA don't lie, and the RNA don't lie. and the, 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 But guess what? Oh. I got practicality and common sense, okay? I got also, nigga, where's your if DNA I, if lab? I, if, I go, if I go to the fucking lab, and I spit in this tube, and that quote-unquote white lady spits in that tube, and then it comes out that we got the same gene genealogy map. What does that tell you? What is it? The, the blood don't lie. The blood, the blood don't lie. It, we got the same shit. We're just different fucking colors. That's it. You fucking Nazis. Really? I'm going to start calling y'all Nazis. Y'all, y'all niggas be doing, y'all niggas are talking like fucking Nazis. Like I just, when I do, when I look at, if I go to Hitler shit, and I, you read some Mein Kampf, okay? And you just look at... <laughs> no, you're right, bro. You're right. Um, if I read some Mein Kampf, all right, from the far himself, all right, and I'm reading them stipulations and shit, I just, all I see is Mein Kampf mentality, all right? Some, these, these, these niggas don't realize that when, you, when they talk about the fucking actor that was Hitler, that was probably Walt Disney as well, okay? That, uh... And he was and he was really good at talking and he was all passionate with his speech and shit, even though he was saying bullshit, but people fucking believed him because he was assertive. And then you take the archetype of all these other niggas that aren't really making sense, but they believe what they're saying and they have a lot of masculine energy and they're assertive. It's literally the same shit. Thanks. 
You can you can convince ignorant people of bullshit if you believe yourself. It's called poker. All right, it's called playing poker. <laughs> Guess what? I taught myself how to play it's poker at ten. So I taught myself how to bluff and shit, how, and how to play them cards. All right. I I done I done I done. I done. For all we know, guess what? These fucking lizards are just, if you want to call them that, they just sitting back chilling. For all we know, they not really doing shit. For all we know, what if, hold on. What if, okay, what if, what if all these reptilians and dracos and shit already gave up and like for the past five years, we've just been doing this all to ourselves. Like, what if, what if nobody is really manipulating anything behind this? Look, what, no, calm down. What if they were at one point? But what if they just was just like, shit, we've kind of tapped out of these resources. We just gonna go, we're just gonna go to the next realm and, and just chill. And what if they just left all of us here, but because everybody's so fucking brainwashed, they're just doing the same shit, acting like somebody's manipulating them. But all they're doing is just manifesting bullshit because they expect to be manipulated. So by expecting to be manipulated, they're manifesting situations that manipulate them. But it's just them manipulating themselves. So it's like the snake eating its own tail. Yeah, you're living in the loop, dude. Like, break the cycle. That's what. That's break the cycle. Do something ah, different. Focus on what you want. Ah, top of the morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Ah, <laughs> like, I just be wanting to go outside. <laughs> Yo, facts. Facts. I be wanting to do that shit too sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You grab a pillow, you bite their shit, you just... You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Look, right? And on top of that, right? Like, bro, let's be real. If I if I hate it, and I don't, I don't see comments. I can't see comments or the numbers ticking up or anything. So, like, I don't know if any of my people are in here, but, you know... If, if my people aren't in here, you know this, right? If I hated white people, right, quote unquote white people, I would have blocked so many of my blessings. And look, that's what some of y'all niggas are doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> like, that was an accident. That was like a Freudian slip. Because at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, group economics is important. But the point of group e economics is to be a group, right? You funnel the money from anything. You know what I'm saying? When a nigga goes and buys some real estate, look, I don't give a fuck if the Freemasons want to rip that bitch out. As long as these niggas are paying their bills, you know what I'm saying? They can have the shit. You know what I'm saying? They can sign a long-term 30-year lease and pay for that whole motherfucking mortgage. They, right? they, 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 paying, you, they paying you to live in the fucking Matrix. You go live outside I'm, the Matrix. Let them fund you living outside the Matrix. Rent the government. You know what I'm saying? Rent, rent the fuck out. Rent Sean King Lee. Invert. Rent the fuck King Sean. We rent the fucking Pets. government. Invert Put the, the government pyramid. to work, bitch. Right? They work yeah. for you. If you know, I keep harping on the credit shit, right? But it's like, yo, right? Everybody's like, oh, this, this, this shit is fake. This money isn't real. Blah blah blah. It's just monopoly money. Okay, cool. But you're still paying rent. You're still buying food. You know what I'm saying? So you're still utilizing this monopoly money. So you might as well go get your motherfucking credit up so you can have the money to be able to flip OPM, other people's money, right? I.e. credit, right? Flip that credit, turn it into cash for yourself, right? And live for free, my nigga. Be fine. You know what I'm saying? And Manifest then we go from there. Then we, the, go, then we can go from the there. Invert the pyramid. Then we, can, then we can go from there and solve other shit. Like it, it's not, it's not hard to fix any of this shit if you just stop. If you just stop, yeah. just take a deep breath, do some, do some chi, or not chi, do some fucking yoga. Just stretch. Just for a moment, remember that you are a multi-dimensional being and you are not of this matrix. You're just experiencing it, and for a day. Just say there is no matrix. It's not going nowhere. So just take a break from it for like a day. Okay. Bro, and real quick, right? Matrix means womb, right? How does a baby get out the womb? It has to develop. 
right? To develop yourself, right? And master the matrix. And you will be able to leave the womb, right? Because it's not about escaping, right? A baby, right? If it escapes the womb too early, right? Then the shit dies and it's premature. You know what I'm saying? Has health problems. You know what I'm saying? But if you fully develop yourself, right? If you read a practical book, if you learn some practical skills, you can develop yourself and then you can master the matrix, right? And then look, maybe the motherfucking Anunnaki or the fucking uh, 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 Osiris and Amun Ra and Horus will give you the invitations. Just come up in the motherfucker. Come on up to the 12th dimension now. You can fucking finish it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but that's what I'm saying. Like master this shit. This is pure law of attraction. You know what I'm saying? Just focus on what you need to focus on. That was fire, though. That was fire, though. That was fire. that shit came to me. You right? fucking nailed it. You fucking, you fucking nailed it. I'm just like, dude. I'm over it. Like, I'm so on some Pink Floyd shit. I'm so comfortably numb to all this shit now that I'm just <laughs> over it. I'm just over it. Like, miss... Like, I... Like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just over it. I'm, I, 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 like, I can you see your that, brain like, cells so, misfire. We're we're so overstimulated. I'm so overstimulated to all this shit. I don't know how people can still keep going. Like, do these niggas not get tired? Like, every day they think about this shit. Every day. Like every day, like every day you want to talk about some damn cavemen. Every day you want to say white people are the devil. White every day you want to, and you know what's so crazy? It's like we we don't even be talking about no Asian people. Like we just, we just, <laughs> <laughs> we just we, there's a whole lot of them. There's a whole lot of them. That like, nigga, that culture. There's, there's quite a big number of them, and we don't even really be. We mention them. We I we mean, mention them every now and then. In reality, there, there's the most there's the most Asian Asian and like African motherfuckers, right? Like in reality, there's like a billion African people. There's like a billion Asians, right? And then there's like everybody else is just jumbled together and bunched up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like. In reality, yeah. also their culture uh, predates Europeans by like three thousand years, my nigga. Probably fucking so, more than that. I guarantee. I have a yeah, sneaky I've suspicion that, that people act like, "Oh, these races were just invented." I, I quote unquote racist. I have a feeling for millions of years, niggas has always either looked like this, that, or that, or some other mixed up random shit. I just, I because there's nothing new under the sun. So if there's mm-hmm. nothing new under the sun, then that means. White people are not new. Or does the rule not apply to that? But no, 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 that doesn't fit the story I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you that you, that, that I'm trying to tell you that three white niggas on a plantation filled with 300, 300 black niggas was able to keep them in check. And that, that, that all the black niggas just stood there while the white men raped their wives. And like the, 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 none of the black niggas did anything. So, so all of your ancestors just stood there and let these these niggas that was using their ad their hands to wipe their ass with no toilet paper, eating pigs and shit, come across the Atlantic Ocean somehow, and and then they didn't know any of the territory because it's not like there was highway. It was it was all natures and cities in this bitch, and we just let them walk into these cities, and then they just started raping our women right in front of us, and we didn't do shit because we was scared of them. Bitch, don't play me like that. You enslaved for believing that shit. Mm. You enslaved, like, like, like my boy Ish said, listen, stop watching Quentin Tarantino movies and Django and shit. Like, now Django is fire. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Django. Jamie Foxx killed that shit, but that shit's not real, okay? Like, you do realize that the guns they were using back then weren't necessarily accurate. So you're telling, you're telling me that a gun, these niggas had guns that took fucking 30 seconds to reload and they just kept everybody in check. I can take a bullet. 
I mean, if you got a if you got a hundred dudes, right? Even if you're talking about having six bullets, right? Because it's you know what I'm saying. I count six shots, nigga. I count two guns, nigga. Right? Even if you're talking six bullets, bro. If you got if you got literally three motherfuckers on the plantation, you're talking about eighteen bullets, my nigga. Y'all all had shovels in y'all hand. You could yeah, just n- fuck them up. Niggas could pick up some rocks, bro. Pick yeah, up some bro. rocks and just throw the fucking rocks. Stone them niggas to death. Shit. For real, for real, some tomatoes or some corn, my nigga, and distract them and fuck them up. <laughs> I'm like, listen, people, you have to realize that the longest wars in the histories were between so-called natives and so-called white people. If it was really that easy to enslave a nigga, why was the war going on for hundreds of fucking years? Facts. The cities and shit were already here. White people did, quote unquote, white people did not build New York City. Mm. They didn't Great. build this shit. Just do a little bit of research. What do you think the Bronx fucking was before that shit just burnt down? Great. Like, do, do you not realize how old this shit is? Do you not realize that this shit has always been here? You thinking, if you're so eternal, that means you've always fucking been in this bitch. It's just look different over time. Mm-hmm. It's just looked different. At one point, we was 400 meters tall building shit. Then we shrunk down. Then we kept shrinking down. Then some other shit happened. Then this shit happened. And, and then other, and then it's, yo, like, oh, sweet Jesus. I don't even believe in Jesus. Y'all got me calling on Jesus now. God damn. You got me calling on Jesus. Damn. Got the call on Heru. Take the will. You like it? Talk ish. I gotta get my thoughts together. Take Jesus. Take the will, bro. Look, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. I think I I, I think the point is is that you just gotta you know cultivate yourself. You know what I'm saying. If you want to crystallize shit, you know what I'm saying. It's all about focusing in on what you want. And I know I keep saying this and I keep repeating it, but at the end of the day, practice makes perfect. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep repeating this shit, right? Because that's what niggas are doing. Niggas are living in a loop. You know what I'm saying? They're allowing um, different Roman programming to um, uh, to hinder their thoughts and to keep them from manifesting the world and that which they seek. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the reason I keep mentioning credit is because I recently ran into people, you know what I'm saying, that said that they've been trying to start companies and do certain things, right? But it's like, if you really wanted to start a company, the company would be started. I've been start, I've done a, I've had a uh, LLC for what, three, four months or something like that? For three months, it's been three months and I've already built up a credit score, a business credit score with that, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, we can do this shit in a very practical way and this system right because at the end of the day bro it like i said matrix is womb the point is to develop yourself right this shit paradise is the garden of eden you know what i'm saying this shit can be heaven or hell you know what i'm saying this shit can be paradise or this shit can be your worst fucking nightmare you decide which one it is right if you want to go to the beach take your ass to the beach you know what i'm saying if you want to be with family be with your family. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be up on the mountains of Machu Picchu, then be up on the mountains of Machu Picchu. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. Just go there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but what happens, what happens is, right, you then start to say shit like, oh, I can't go to the beach because I have X, Y, Z responsibility and I have to make sure that I do this because if I, if this happens, then I, I won't be able to live right, right? You start making excuses, right? And as you make those excuses and you cast those spells on yourself, right, you're manifesting that fuckery that's essentially building up a wall. You know what I'm saying? You could stack your failures up, right, as a wall in front of you or as steps to get you to the next level. Oh, right? sheesh! Sheesh! Mm. Top of the morning in this bitch. Ah. Top of the morning. Top, top of the morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning in this bitch. Let's get this shit. You know what I'm saying? Do you not just hear my bro? Did you not just hear my bro? Show him the road. 
Show, show him the rope. Oh God, Do you not see the God. dragon? Get the sword. Oh, Get the sword. Get that fucking Hold sword up. up. Hold Hold up. up. Get the Hold sword. Up. Get the sword in the shot. Let them, they don't Hold fucking oh, know. They oh, think we man. playing in this bitch. Oh, man. They, my nigga Raphael in the robe. Oh, I, man. Raphael. He's the angel <laughs> Raphael in the fucking dragon robe. Mm. I with the with the with the oh. shotgun. I oh. he's got he's got oh. oh with the sword he got the oh. he got this oh, Excalibur in this that's bitch the original. That's I, the actual Conan sword. The actual by the way. Conan shit. Oh. I, mm. You know what I'm saying? I, King Nicholas Arthur real... in his DMs right now. I Facts. trying to get his sword Facts. back. I the real look. I'm a wizard with magic, my nigga, and I know how to cast the motherfucking magic. spells. You know what I'm I, saying? My boy got the do rag. He got the oh. robe. He got the sword. In the shotgun. Paladin ass nigga. I could pick up the sword or the staff. What you need? Paladin. You, you need to be healed. I got you. These niggas you know need some saying? support. You need a fireball. I got you. You know what I'm saying? But if you just need me to come in there with the sword and fuck shit up, I got you. You know what I'm saying? One man army ass nigga. I got you. But we don't oh. always need the sword. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. We don't always need the sword. We don't always need the sword. All right? We don't always need. God damn. God damn. Right, put put, you put know the sword away. Put don't hold scare up, him. Hold up, hold up, hold you got up, him shaking. It's a way. You got him nervous. It's a way. You know what's mightier though? And look at this shit. That shit is pure motherfucking gold, multicolored. Oh! Boom. Mightier than the sword. I've made more money with this motherfucker it is right here. Mightier than the sword. I've done more learning with this motherfucker right here. I've had more uh, uh, life change. And Crystal, then, crystallizations. Then these motherfuckers right here, because these motherfuckers are just sitting up on the wall. You know what I'm saying? That shit's basically motherfucking decoration. You know what I'm saying? But that's why they say the pen is mightier than the sword. You know that what I'm saying? That shit's just insurance. All right, it's a whole life Boom. policy on the wall. Right? Exactly, that's insurance. And don't make me pull out the yada da bang. You know what I'm saying? That's upstairs though. Mm. I ain't walking all the way upstairs. You know what I'm saying? This nigga said you can either let your this nigga said you can either let mm. your failures be a wall in front of you or you can let them stack up as steps. Mm. Development. Mm. You are you are a fetus right now. You are in the womb, so develop yourself. You feel me? Master this matrix. This shit is yours. Invert. We live in a pyramid scheme. Invert the fucking pyramid. You are infinitely Invert abundant. Infinitely abundant. You know what I'm saying? Create opportunities. You know what I'm saying? You don't For even realize people. my bad, brother. Give me a second. Go you, ahead. Take go a ahead, seat. Go ahead. I'm going back. Hey, yo. They don't yo, even realize. I'll be right back. You, you, yeah, you take your time. You don't even realize that they've already given you the keys to ERs. You, you, they've already given us the keys to Earth. You can do whatever you want now. Does nobody realize that? You woke up. Since you woke up, that means you can do whatever you want. So what are you doing? Some of you still watch CNN. Some of you still watch the fucking news you said oh yeah I'm woke but I still watch CNN what like what what let's be real some of you probably like being plugged in some of you probably you don't want to be fully out of the matrix because you don't want to accept the responsibility of your reality because you're afraid. Some of you are afraid to go, oh wow, I can do whatever it is I want to do. Like some of you are afraid of that and I get it. I was one of those people, that's why I can say that. I was afraid of being responsible for my shit. But then when I started to see myself progress over time and, de and develop my character and I was coming out better and better and better, I started getting more motivated. I started going, mm -hmm. oh, I like this shit. Oh, shit, right. I, I did that. I crystallized that. That came to me. 
I enjoy exactly. looking at myself at fucking 22. I be forgetting I'm 22. I'm eternal. Y'all probably forget I'm 22. I, I can barely fuck with the girls my age. Excuse right. me, the women. Or girls, whichever you prefer. I, I can barely fuck with the young ladies my age. You know why? Because I'm a supreme ass nigga and I make them fucking nervous. I earn that shit. I'm dripping like a motherfucker. <laughs> All right, let's not, let me gas myself for a second. I am yes. one of the best fucking niggas walking this plane right now. Yes. I, I, I just am. I, yes. I, I, may, I may not. I, 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 I take your girl dusty. I pull up in the road with fucking holes in my shorts barefoot. And she'd be like, yo, look at that dick print. I, yes. I take, I take, your, I take your girl just standing there. I, that's yes. Because she can sense that man energy. But like after one conversation, she'd start sweating. Cause I oh I overwhelm the fuck out of women just by being near them. Because this shit is this place is so fucked up that they don't know how to spot they can't handle real niggas when they finally meet them. Mm. They can't they can't handle real niggas like they no they're they're used to toxic ass niggas so when they finally meet a real ass nigga they get nervous. They get they get nervous as shit. They and get they, the, they, that's what they start to do. They start to create problems. They start to create. Like they they so used to arguing with the nigga that when a nigga don't do nothing for them to argue about, they just start making up shit. Damn. This nigga, all this nigga want to do is he just want to he just talk about meditating and stretching and shit and just he just he just he be telling me I just need to chill and I be trying to tell this nigga about all the bad shit going on in my life and he just and he told me that he ain't trying to hear that shit. Cause he's on some manifestation <laughs> shit. This nigga told me that I can't tell him, but this nigga told me he not interested in hearing all the bad shit that happened to me at work because I really didn't have to pay attention to that shit no way. This nigga told me that I am the supreme goddess of my reality. And if I want some shit, I can have it. This nigga told me that it don't matter that my mama didn't really love me the way I wanted to, cause your mom, all my mama did was give me what she could give me, and then I need to give myself the proper self love. What the fuck is this nigga talking about? Hey, man, 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 man. I can't stand this nigga. This nigga's always talking about some self love and respect yourself shit. Yo, I'm dead. I'm dead, yo. Yeah, I'm levitating. I'm, I'm always dead. levitating. Yo, this nigga be floating, bro. We I stay levitating this. in this bitch, baby. I be seeing him. This nigga, this nigga's Wi-Fi be going out sometimes because he's just so electric. God damn. God damn. I'm on, I'm on fire. It's fucking I, cold in this bitch. I'm on I fire. Be, I'm burning. I be, his, I be seeing sparks coming out the end of this nigga's dreads. He be going so hard sometimes. God damn. You see this motherfucker trading? Trading the motherfucking BTC? God damn. It's electric. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking they, can't, they can't be knowing where that brand be coming from. Hold on, hold on. They can't be up in my pockets like that. People, hey, they, they can't be knowing pocket. where that brand be coming from. You right. They can't be up in right. my pockets like that. That's straight hey, crystallization. I feel you. I feel we, we, you. Move, hey. we move in silence. Real hey, G's move in silence. Hey, look. Here's 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 all I'm gonna say. Here's all I'm gonna say. Niggas is doing what they need to be doing right now. You know what I mean? Niggas is focused on the right things, right? There are people coming out the woodwork. Which is yourself. Your boy, exactly. Asking your boy to be a part of things. You know what I'm saying? And it's not happening by accident. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason for this shit, you know? It's crystallization. You know what I'm saying? It's pure electricity. It is love and light at the end of the day. Look, there's spiritual warfare going on. Always has been. Always will be. You've heard about the giants and the gods of the fucking Norse mythology. You've heard about the motherfucking Titans and the gods of fucking Roman and Greek mythology. Guess what? The shit's going to keep going on forever. But you choose to participate, right? And there ain't no motherfucking draft going on, dog. Ain't nobody forcing you to be in that shit. You decide if you want to pick up the sword or you, you want to pick up the pen. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna choose a motherfucking pen because I utilize my mind to crystallize what it is that I need to crystallize. You know what I'm saying? Now that may be a different story for you than it is for me, right? Maybe you, you know what I'm saying, just need to crystallize like a, a nice little house for yourself 
and, and you chilling, you got your garden or whatever it may be. Maybe you ain't gardening, maybe you just chilling. You go into the grocery store, you're able to pay everything, and you're able to take care of your baby. That's my fucking cool too. But look, ain't nobody doing shit to you. No one's doing shit to you. It is what it is. It is what you say it is. You know what I'm saying? And I say it's all good. That's why I'm living in the motherfucking the People be like, Eden. they're indoctrinating our babies in the school. Who's sending the motherfuckers to school? Yeah, why are they in the school? Home teaching them. They be oh, indoctrinating well, their children and they be bad like that. I ain't good. And then, I can't. Then, I, then, I, then, I can't. Then, I'll be teaching, like, yeah, but who, I gotta who, go who, work and make sure I can buy food and pay the rent because how is, uh, well, start a business. I'm paying, I'm paying rent, pay I'm taxes, paying bro, rent bro, bro, bro. on stolen land. My land was stolen and I'm paying rent on stolen land. But, but my landlord is black. I'm paying rent on, sto I'm paying rent on stolen <laughs> land, but my landlord is black. God damn. I mean. God damn. <laughs> I had to take my do rag off. This is getting hot in this bitch. No, don't me. I'm, I'm, are we paying rent on stolen land? I'll just be like, dude, you don't realize huh? that. All right. You got to be ready for this shit. All right. Because I said oh. this shit to Ish, and he was like, damn, nigga, you cold, but that was real. Are they ready for let's it? Be, let's, be, let's be real. Don't nobody own no fucking land. True. To each his own. If you if if the law of attraction is absolute, so if somehow you got finessed out your land, somebody out attracted your land from you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just be like, just chalk it up to the fucking game. Fuck it. You're eternal. You don't die. Some Yo. fucked up shit. I, you, you somebody out manifested your land from you. I mean, shit. It law if. If you want your land back, just law of attraction it back. Mm. If, mm. Guess what? If I went Preach. to a certain place and I crystallized some money, crystallized currency, and I copped that land and some natives came to me and said, yo, this land was taken from our people. You need to give this back to us. I'd be like, bitch, hell no. I just met, I manifested this land. Right. It's mine now. You know why? Your ancestors, universe. your ancestors gave me this land because your ass couldn't claim it, nigga. Let's be real. Woo! That's some heavy don't shit. Don't nobody right want to hear that. Don't get that. Nigga, your ancestors don't, don't nobody with me because they like this nigga. This nigga is not practical over here, but this nigga is. So like, let me let me communicate with this nigga and he'll get the land. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? If you own your shit, I'll teach you how to buy that shit from me. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. I don't mean to be on some fucking, you know, on no fucking elitist shit, but that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit is just the I law do, of attraction. I do. I do. <laughs> I, guess what? Facts. Nigga, Everyone, we there's supreme. no such thing as elite. There's no, there's no such thing as elite. There's no such thing. As, these are all fa These are all the, the perceptions. These are all things that, <clears throat> excuse me, true words. Mm. That's what they say, right? These are, mm. these are all things that are a product of this matrix, the whole idea of elite and hierarchy and shit. It's, it, yo, dude, you don't, have, you don't even realize that as a quantum physical being, okay, if you're so caught up, the only, listen, you only, okay, you only have power. You are only rooted in your authority if you are in the moment. If you allow yourself to be taken out of the moment, you lose your power. If you were so caught up on some shit that happened in the quote unquote past, you are now not in the moment and you cut off what could be quantum physics wise. Because guess what? The only thing that exists is now. Everything is happening now. So if you are focused on something other than they now, you no longer have authority. 
you can no longer, you won't be able to manifest or attract shit. You won't be able to. Because guess what? In order for you to attract some shit, you first got to be here. Mm-hmm. In this moment. Mm-hmm. This is how you, you, want, you want people to return my land, do this. They'll be like, well, I got to live too. Where am I going to live? What, 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 where am I? What, 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 first of all, I got a lot of first of all. You got, I see this young lady on Instagram of the Chompa Wampa Nod, whatever it is, okay? Forgive me, I'm not being disrespectful. I just don't remember the whole name, okay? She says in her bio, I am black plus indigenous. That makes no fucking sense at all. You can't, there's no such thing as black. That's not a race or a bloodline. You can't, that's a status. That's a slave status, actually. Mm-hmm. So it's you just said- Corporate status. It's a corporate status. So you literally just said that you are a slave indigenous. Native a slave. A slave indi- indigenous. You, you don't even realize that indigenous is just another fucking word that this corporate America came up with. So no matter what, whatever language you try to use, whatever language you try to use to say what you are, okay, other than a source being, it's just some matrix ass shit. It's just another, if this, if the, if the corporation, it's just the monopoly board, whatever title or status you have just determines the piece that you move on that, you can move on that monopoly board within how their, their rules and their systems apply to that piece. So guess what? I'm not going to call myself indigenous, native and all this shit, unless the niggas get in the bag, get in that land. And that's different. You know what I mean? You're giving me my reservation. That's a different story. Unless, unless I'm getting my reservation. Is not fucking relevant. I'm a source being of the eternal spark. Okay? That's different. Can't no corporation rules or no nothing touch that shit. <laughs> you're just, you're just, you're, everybody's trying to go, oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm, I'm Polish. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. Yeah, yeah, yes, you are, but no, the fuck you aren't. Like, people, it's like people forgot. Like, people will go, oh, this shit ain't real. But I'm indigenous. Well, which one is it? The eternal paradox. It, it, it's like, a, I, I, this shit ain't real, but I'm indigenous. Okay, well, you're saying, on the, so this shit ain't real, but the only thing that's real is you indigenous? Like, so it's, it's real. That's how you know we're the creators of our own reality. Because we can go, okay, that's real, but this ain't real, and this applies here. This, we're just all over the that place. That was deep. That was deep. Like, just, I like, I like how you just connected that. That was good. It, people are like, as long as, as long as, see, the way people are is, as long as it's relevant to their narrative, it's valid. But when you try to use their own logic, and as it turns out, their own knowledge debunks itself, then you're a coon. <laughs> All, all of us, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, mm. if, if little old Saturn goes to Russia and gets the big booty white girl Pog, Russian model, Saturn's a fucking, I'm a coon, I'm all this shit, I'm all this shit. It, like, nobody knows about, and the people don't even know about what a Slav is or the, or the Iron Curtain or that, like, over in Russia, they had some of the biggest genocides. Like, them, they... They didn't give a fuck about it. So a lot of a lot of quote unquote white people, and it wasn't just white people over there, quote unquote, if you want to say white people was being slaughtered over there. Like dude, joke is joke, you don't realize that they're just taking the same script and just using it in other areas. Do you not see what the Chinese communist government is doing to their own people? Like, so when you so when so you're telling me that when you look on the fucking internet and you see a whole Chinese city being flooded and you see these babies that are hungry, these women that are just trying to man- mind their business, live and get by in the matrix as you, and you don't feel nothing. Oh, they're not real. They're artificial. They deserve it. They deserve to drown and die. Them and their babies deserve to drown and shit. It is a, it's a part of the supreme cosmic order because I have dark skin and I come from the, I, I ride 
fucking Anu's dick so fucking much. Ah, excuse me. I know. I know. I'm in a mood. I'm in a Damn. Mood. I know. But I, because I want to ride I'm in a mood. fucking Anu's nuts so fucking much, my logic <laughs> goes out the window. I, I want to suck some Anunnaki dick so damn bad that all, all of my logic and reason no longer exist. It no, it no, it no longer exists. I know, baby. I'm in a mood. I know. Don't mind me. I haven't done this in a minute. Just don't mind me. Just, ignore me. <laughs> Just let him get it out. I'm, I'm rapping right now, aren't I? I'm rapping. <laughs> right she now. said you spit. <laughs> she <laughs> said you spit. I'm they just I'll, came I'll make sure because I put most of it. I'll make sure I do the dishes tonight. Wow. If you guys cook, do do them right now. When you after you get done cooking, I'll do it tonight after everybody gets done eating. All right, so I'll clean the kitchen. See what we're doing for the okay, okay, I'll, I'll 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 handle all of that. All right, my bad. They but just anyway, came for the sermon. I'm like, yo, yeah, they just did. And my my sister was walking by like, damn, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, my God. Like, Damn. That, is, that ain't that nigga who What's was meditating in the dark yesterday. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that, nigga was, that nigga was meditating. That nigga went from meditating in the dark, being all silent, to talking about these these, these motherfuckers are sucking Anunnaki dick. Yeah. God who's damn. The, these who's the Anunnaki? I'll like, I, I be looking at these jokers. I'll be like, yo, you got some white shit in the corner of your mouth, bro. You might want to wipe that off right quick. Yeah. God damn. Look. They'd be like, these oh, it's, done found they it's Christian. Ormus. <laughs> it's Ormus. <laughs> these, these niggas done found they little, they, they done found their own version of Christianity and they got happy. They, 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 Yo, they, they, I by, got them. You know by what? The way, that's all it is. That's what Christianity is, by the way. It's just that shit translated in a different way. By the way. Like all that shit, yeah. all the shit transfers. We could, we could literally right now, we could write up an Anunnaki Bible and put that shit on the internet. And if we make that shit sound resonant and good, watch us like, we could sell like 10,000 copies of that. And all we'd have to do is be like, I discovered the ancient Anunnaki text. And then just watch people just eat the shit up. Just watch. Just watch. I meditated for seven days and, and seven eight nights. nights. <laughs> I and, and at 3.33 a.m., at 3.33 a.m., a message being to me in my third eye, and, and, and <laughs> it was the great, it was Anu, and he gave me. And then me, I sneezed, and it was he gold. Got, he, he, gave, he gave me the, the, the golden text, and he said <laughs> that I need to charge you $100 for each book. $144. <laughs> $144. For this book, but only 144,000 copies. So get yours while limited supply. <laughs> get yours while limited supplies last. Yo, these niggas, these niggas be like, you need to raise your vibration, but make sure you buy my better business oil. Yeah. What? God damn! Like yo, you're a whole. Y'all believe that? Goddess. But you need this quantum angelic cleansing if you really want to be a divine, divine goddess. You that that sound like wait, wait, wait. So you tell so you see this like I'm trying to sell you a car. You see this right here? This is that quantum angelic cleansing. Now I know, now I know you already get you good. <laughs> but if you wanna be real good, if you wanna survive the solar flare, this baby right here. You good. <laughs> that quantum angelic cleansing. This shit'll get you right. This shit, yo, this, that shit, this right shit there. like when a weed man is trying to tell you his his last shit is be, is better than his other shit. When the weed man's like, this shit right here, this this quantum. Now I, I know you already got the angelic cleansing, but if you get the quantum angelic karmic package for the low low price of four hundred dollars, for the low 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 price, matter of fact, I'll do your favorite three fifty. 344. 344. 344. 333. Fuck it. For the low, low price of 333, you can have all your karmic white in a matter of 30 minutes. Clean from all the lifetime. I'll throw in some better business oil for $80. 888. 888. Matter of fact, I throw I throw I throw in some better business oil for $88.88. And your man, if, what the fuck? How? 
You described uh, Mormonism, by the way. That's what you described. Really? That's literally what the nigga did. It's like wow. the nigga. The nigga said, <laughs> "Oh, God gave me. God gave me this special thing that I basically used to conjure this book that y'all gotta read because the book is from Jesus and Jesus was in America the whole time." Like, okay. Yo, and those niggas rich, by the way. You want to talk rich, about? You want to talk about a motherfucking church? They got a. They got a hundred. I think is. It's a hundred billion dollar fund. I think they have. They technically the Church of the Latter Day Saints has like a hundred billion dollar fund. That shit is bigger than the Catholic Church and shit. But I mean, they probably all just be like anyway. fear the fear the solar flare. Or aren't we immortal anyway? So I'm like. If the sun suddenly suddenly decided to explode, I'm straight either way. Facts. But you're scared because of your earthly attachments. Right. So how what, woke are you? How is stockpiling food going to protect you from a solar flare is the question. I don't know. <laughs> you, you, like, just think about it. The sun ate this motherfucking earth right now. How is stockpiling food going to stop that? Because I don't know. I was, really try I was really trying to think for a moment. I was, I was like, well, maybe there's something I don't know. So I tried to run the simulation. And it, I, it all came back negative. I, I'm, it's not adding up. It's not adding up. Ooh. I hate also, how I, when I do this shit, my, my temperature be all over the place. So I had to take the robe off because I was getting heated. No, I know now, I'm, now I'm cooling down. I got to put it back on. Yo, the do-rag was getting sweaty. You know what I'm saying? You were all... We call this, all we call this robe activity. activity. Robe activity. Aerobics. You know what I'm saying? Aerobic. Didn't, didn't add up, man. Didn't add up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just like, yo, aren't, you, aren't you Kali Amun-Ra? Aren't you supposed to be the sun, nigga? What you need a UV detector for? Nigga, if there's a solar flare, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? And you've been talking about this shit for over a year now, right? And you're saying that it's coming any day. Nigga, if you're, if you're the nigga, if you're on the... No, it's himself, not. It hasn't been over a year. It's been, it's been like six years. It's had to be like five years or some shit. Like, I mean, I've... People I've don't realize, listen... For a year. About six, seven months. Really. Okay, listen. Yeah, go ahead. Listen, people, having... Contrary, contrary to popular belief, I know having darker skin will help with the sun, but it's not necessarily your skin that gets you fucked up because of the sun. It's because of what you're eating. It's because of what you're eating. Mm -hmm. If you're always eating pork and shit and your, and your blood is super acidic, you are your blood. You're, literally everything in your body is made from your blood. So if your blood is acidic and you go out in the sun, you're going to boil and blister like a motherfucker. Thanks. That's all it is. It's, it's not rocket science. These niggas, these niggas went on Amazon and ordered a damn book written by a white dude. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that that, that book talking about whatever melanin they talking about was probably written, written by some, some white nigga. And now all of a sudden... Since since this white nigga is saying some shit that you like, you won't believe this white nigga. But if this white nigga says some shit you don't like, he's the devil. But if this white nigga says some shit you, you do like, he's an okay devil. You know what I mean? He's the devil. He's the devil doing God's work. But him, Thanks. he's the devil doing the devil's work. Thanks. Do you see that? Thanks. Do you... Right. If this, this if this shit? if this white dude says that the moon is flipped, then he's cool. You know what I'm saying? Because he's agreeing with my narrative, right? Like, come on, bro. Do you people not see yourselves? Do you so you know what's what blows me? A lot of things. But people assume just because a whole bunch of people agree with them, they right. Nigga, number not, there is not no power in numbers when it comes to ignorance. <laughs> uh, that's just, that's just self-deprivation. -depri just because a bunch of fuckheads believe what you're saying doesn't mean it's true. It just means you all don't know shit. Niggas is more retarded now than they've ever been, according to statistics. And don't ask me what statistics. Go look it up. I'm just, the statistics is the observation I'm making. Niggas, <laughs> niggas, is, 
<laughs> niggas is way dumber than they've ever been. Like, just look at the shit. Just look at look at the shit niggas was building years ago and shit. Like, nigga, shit, even 200 years ago, niggas had all the skills and shit. Bags. They knew a trade. They knew how to, like, bro, even the quote unquote slaves knew how to fucking farm, dog. They had a skill. Nigga, a blacksmith, a blacksmith, where that shit come from? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, the motherfucking, uh, niggas used to be merchants and traders. Mur, and Moore, Mur, Lamaria. What do you think trapping came from? Niggas used to just catch raccoons, you know what I'm saying? And wear the fucking raccoon cap with the fucking shit and sell the furs, bro. You know what I'm saying? And also, where do you think or where do you think orgies came from? Cavemen was taking other bitches, <laughs> niggas' wives and shit, and was raping them in their cave, and that's where orgies came from. Don't you? It all adds up now. It all adds up. See, I need you to take a moment. You see how we were saying shit that made sense, and then I took that very same information that this, this nigga said. And I threw it amongst the information that made sense, and it stuck out like, why the fuck would you say that? I yes. That's how crazy that shit set is. But if you say crazy shit in context with other crazy shit, you can make it sound normal. But if you take crazy shit and put it in context with shit that isn't crazy, that shit will stick out. Okay. So guess what? You know why these people don't sound crazy to some of you? Because all the shit that they be saying is crazy, so it be sounding normal because they're not saying it in context with any shit that's actually legit. Everything this nigga saying is stupid. So you just thinking, oh, this everything this nigga says is stupid, but because it don't, it's in context with stupid shit, it sounds like it's not stupid. But no, if you take this stupid shit and line it up with what it is I have to say, then it's evidently stupid. And if you can't see that, it's because you're stupid. Now, as my father would say, this is something my father would do when I was younger. I would do something. He said, son, listen, you either lazy or you stupid. Pick one. <laughs> Damn, is that it? That, that, that is. <laughs> Ain't that right, Cole? That, that would be like, you either lazy or you stupid. And which one do we pick? <laughs> I think Caleb one time said he was stupid. <laughs> Caleb one time said he was stupid. One of my other one, one of my Caleb, my other brother one time said he was stupid, and my dad just walked away. My dad, <laughs> my dad gave up. This is my seed. <laughs> can I get Chipotle? If you want to stay on the phone, um, I can ask one of them to come through. But this is can you give me uh, like a card or something? I can just go and get it. Go, wait, what? Do you, don't you already have her information? No, I'm talking about like order it. I can't order it. She wants, she wants Chipotle? Yeah. It's Caleb. What day is it? Uh, it's, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. It's this Wednesday. Wednesday. All right, I'll go. I'll go. All right. It's <laughs> a right. Friday. Anyway. Do you, need, uh, do you want me to take one of those? Yeah, I'll take, I'll take one of you when it's time to go. All right. But anyway. Yo. Yo. You said you either lazy or stupid. Like, damn, that's, those are the only two options I have. Damn. Pick one. Pick one. <laughs> you lazy or you stupid? And yo, it, 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 it. Damn. Damn. Yo, that's deep. I don't know what I don't at at this point, brother. I really I don't know what to do when it comes to the spiritual community, bro. Other than the, and I don't feel like I have to do anything. But sometimes when you see this shit, you just like, yo, like. <sighs> Like, let me, let me step in. Like, let me say something. Like, let me, maybe just saying something is enough. Like, I, I'm just like, yo, nigga, if you want to, if you want to follow the piper, you know what I mean? Have fun. <laughs> but like, bro, what is this? Like, I, I, the other day I was just sitting down in meditation and I realized I could attract anything I want. I was just like, you know what? Maybe I will try being a little king, a little lower mm. Maybe mm. I'm gonna go do that shit. See how it little, feels. You little, know what I mean? Little salt some casual shit. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, I mean, what else we got to do? Maybe I'm gonna just go manifest a hundred million dollars right quick. Just see how it feels. Just yeah. you know, let's just see if I can Bad do it. I mean, shit. what else we got to do? 
conquer a new island type y'all ain't doing nothing a lot of y'all ain't doing nothing else you just sitting around waiting for the world to end you might as well see what it is you can what you can attract Mm. fuck it see what's about to end my nigga you know what i'm saying because if the world's gonna end it doesn't matter where you are right let's be real me and me and ish fucking shit me and me and ish fucking said we about to be power rangers and form voltron fuck it like you know what i mean like that's Green Ranger. I'm Black Ranger. You know what I mean? Like we, 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 we here. We, we here. Give me a, give me a I, mech suit, baby. Give me a mech suit. You know what it, I'm saying? Fuck a land. Give me a spaceship, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Spaceship. Who's who's Elon Shit, Musk, nigga. bro? Who's Elon Musk? Let Who? me let me Who? let me call up SpaceX and convince one of these rocket scientists to come work for me and build me a spaceship, nigga. Who? God damn. Elon. Shit. Elon. Elon. L on my the nigga who <laughs> cried because his heroes doubted him. The nigga who's really a rich kid and didn't invent shit and had Drake. all his shit. Elon. Remember that? Drake. 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 Yo, I like the nigga, the nigga that wasn't hiding his kid from the world was hiding the world from his kid. Drake. Yo. Yo, L on even his name his his name literally tells you that he's a stanky ass god, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you believe that nigga's real, oh please. Elon L oh, <laughs> L on oh, Musk, you know what I'm saying? Be, L on Musk, yo, like that. Shit he's that a musky. He's a musky god. Oh, he's like, a musky like, god. Like that elite, that L I. You know what I'm saying? If you an elite nigga, you a L and you I. You feel me? Uh huh. I don't know if you like that. I don't know if you like that one, but ah, uh, it, it, it whatever. Nah, nah. Just I'll be breaking shit down. Like the coincidence shit. I told you about the coincidence <laughs> shit. Yeah. And that brick. Last I know thing you I'm like that brick too early. Some of you, some of you cats. Like we were saying before, the main point is, some of you cats, all right, need to stop cultivating your spirituality and cultivate your practicality. I, I mm-hmm. promise you, mm-hmm. you are already spiritual enough. All right. Some of you niggas is so far in the fucking spirit realm. You need to come back. I am saying this as someone who's been one of the farthest in the spirit realm. Okay, so I can say this shit. All right. If you go on Connie's stories, all right, that nigga's got OG videos of me going live on him talking about I, when I was back at back uh back a year ago when I would fucking leave my body, go into the fourth dimension and go storm Draconian uh fucking uh, strongholds and shit and just fuck niggas up and I was literally just going into the astral realm having battles and shit for fun type shit so you're not gonna find too many niggas that is more in the spirit realm than me I'm not saying they're not around but li- like and that's but notice how I don't talk about any of that shit anymore when's the last time I really talked about going to the spirit realm or some shit why? You know why? Because mm-hmm. this is the spirit realm. I'm already in the spirit realm. This is the spirit We're realm. Chilling. Like, we here, dude. Like, I, I don't, I, I don't, uh, I don't. Niggas, niggas is y'all. Y'all are spiritual enough. Okay, let's let's be practical now. All right, because you're not just gonna be spiritual and manifest some shit. You have to be spiritual and practical. Spiratical. I don't know. All right. You need to be practically spirit. I don't know. However, we'll figure that out. That's why it's spiritual. Etherically practical. practical. Some shit like like it spiritual. Practical. I don't know. But like mm-hmm. I'm not gonna hold that. Some of these niggas is crazy, bro. Yeah, they're manic, bro. That's the they're reality. Really manic. Like, Some of these niggas need to go to inpatient. <laughs> Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Like I, they need like to you, spend a day or three in the psych ward and just like go to sleep for a minute. You know what I'm saying? That ass. Some of these niggas need a timeout. Like a, just yeah. a timeout. Like you need to be put in timeout. Matter of fact, actually, you are in timeout because you're here. I'm in timeout with you, actually, now that I think about it. Shit. Probably just oh, yeah, the room, warrior bro. priest of Gnosis. There we go. Good job, Rob. Who came up with that? They yeah, where'd that come warrior from? Warrior priest of Gnosis. Yeah. Where'd that come from? That's a good idea. We need to start yeah. that. We need to start that. Yeah, dude. What yeah, what did we that need to start a from? warrior priesthood focused on Gnosis? Bro, what I did? thought we were the Gnosis Negro. We did that. Bro. That's a good That's idea. I'm gonna steal that. 
Yeah. I'm going to steal that. And we'll I'm mad I can't see any of the comments. Yeah. I'm mad I can't see any of the comments, by the way. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, that's weird. You join should in be on the Now, bro, bro, how do you, once again, you remember what you said earlier, how do you have a billion-dollar company and this shit doesn't work properly? Like, these niggas are stupid. <laughs> these niggas are stupid, bro. You got, you got, Instagram blows the fuck out of me. We were talking about that. I was like, how do you, it's owned by Facebook. How the fuck are you the FBI's database and none of your shit be working? <laughs> how, how, how the fuck are you tracking everybody in existence on this plane and none of your shit, you can't even get a good connection? It's fucking dumbasses. Just dumb. Niggas, dumb niggas, shit. and you know what blows me? These niggas think... <laughs> Like they be thinking that shit that that qualifies them as smart is actually dumb shit. Like you, Facts. like if you were to go to like an Anunnaki scientist or whatever and said, "Oh, what'd you do?" Oh, I started a social media platform. They look at you like you retarded. Like and like what? I'm like I'm like, what does that do? Like what? <laughs> what like what does that do? All right, all right, all right. All right. Wrap it up, brother. Wrap it up on some shit, bro. Uh, man, look, man, it's already wrapped up, bro. We've said everything that we need to say. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to, you know, go chill with the fam for a little bit, decompress. And what I'll say in, in ending, you know what I'm saying, is like, bro, Nate, what you said with the with the lizards and all these Dracos, you know what I'm saying, and all the motherfucking Archons, whatever, like maybe these niggas just gave up. Honestly, maybe these niggas are just laughing at us. You know what I'm saying? They're just looking at, like, I wonder if we put this in this movie, like, will these niggas, like, take this shit out of context, and then they just do it, and then they just laugh, and they just have a fucking great laugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's probably all what that shit is. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, like, a lot of niggas are just getting made fun of. And don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? I understand, overstand the spiritual shit. I've had, you know, I've had all the etheric, etheric experiences, you know what I'm saying? I ain't as deep into it as Saturn. You know what I'm saying? But the reality of this shit is that you you are a soul. You are an eternal soul, right? And you have, um, right, th here's what I think, right? You're a multidimensional being controlling vessels across time. And right now, this particular soul fractal of you is trying to tap in to that infinity stream, trying to tap into that, that abundance. So just tap into the fucking abundance. Invert the pyramid, master the fucking matrix, rent the fucking government. You know what I'm saying? You can literally create free money for yourself if you learn this fucking system and you learn this game. That's why the system is there. It's for you to manipulate. It is not there to shit on you. It is there because if you just learn it, if you pick up a book and you read 10 pages of a motherfucking 300 page book every single day, you'll be done with the book in a month. And then you'll learn some shit and you'll be able to take advantage of the system from it. It's that fucking simple. So just go. That's what Lil John said. Read a book, read a book, read a motherfucking book. If you don't know what to do, what I'm going to say is meditate and read a practical fucking book. A practical book. Rich. I was about to say, Think and there grow are rich. lots of niggas go that are reading that lots of books. All right. Think and grow but rich. Read, read a book and use discernment. Yes. Don't use just read the book. Get what you need from it. You know what I'm saying? Utilize what you can, right? Or research credit repair, nigga, and learn how to fucking get infinite money from that shit. Go, go fucking buy scrap metal and flip the fucking scrap metal. Go buy fucking bricks and sell it to contractors. The shit ain't that hard. There's a thousand fucking... There's, a, there's literally a billion ways to make this shit happen. Just make it happen. Because there's a dumb nigga who made a fucking... Uh, multi or a trillion dollar platform apparently and this shit I can't even see the motherfucking comments so the shit the shit's not that hard just go out go manifest this shit spiritual spirituality plus practicality equals manifestation that's the fucking trinity you need to focus on that's the equation right there spirituality plus practicality right equals that's the, that that trumps all the math I've ever learned Boom.
Fuck algebra. Spirituality plus practicality oh. equals manifestation. Equals manifestation. Boom. All right. With that said, I think we can wrap it up, dog. You, you got any last words? Um. Nah. Nah. No last words. I just, I, right. you know what? Yeah. I still, I still love all of you. Anybody yeah. that I talk shit about, I still love all of you. I really, I actually, I know I say that we're all the same. with sincere love. That's why I even bothered to say any of this shit. If I really didn't give a fuck about any of you, any of you, I wouldn't have said any of this shit. I would have just gone and just, I just go and mind my business and chill out, man. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to say anything about these people. I don't have to comment about, these people aren't really that, are not relevant to my existence if I choose not to make them relevant to my existence. They're just, they're just a few of the infinite versions of me in existence. I don't have to acknowledge them. You know what I mean? But I chose to, I made the choice to say something. You know what I mean? But I didn't say something necessarily just for them. I said that to speak to others because there's a lesson in all of this. You know, but let's not let all this, if they're going to be throwing around all this bullshit, let's not let these lessons, let's not let that energy go to waste. Let's alchemize it into something. And what that's what I'm doing. I'm going to alchemize all of that fuckery into something other people can learn from. Mm -hmm. And enhance themselves. So I mm -hmm. guess they're doing God's work. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Hell yeah. All right, people. All right, brother. Yo, yo, you were on some righteous ass shit. Righteous ass shit. I love it, bro. I love it. I try. Peace. All right. We'll tap in later.